Yo, 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 this is Eastbanger. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm sharing three tips on how you can improve your night street photography. These tips are for beginners only. So if you are a pro, don't hesitate to watch one of my recent pro videos up here. There are many reasons why you are struggling with night photography and one of them could be related to your old gear. You just starting out, you didn't want to invest your money. So you have a basic gear, probably six to eight years old or something like that. In addition to that, you bought a kit lens that starts with f3.5. That's the second reason why you are struggling at night photography because your f-stop is high and you have to bump your ISO. So that's probably related to settings. And lastly, um, you are struggling because you are choosing bad locations. They are not well lighted and there is a lot of black, dark places. It's really, really hard to shoot in these conditions. Personally, I no longer have any older equipment than my a7 IV. I have no kit lens, so I just try to replicate a kit lens by putting my camera set up to f3.5 ISO 1000 and shutter speed was between 40 and 50. But remember that there are many, many factors that can affect your final image, like completely different camera brands or different lenses that starts lower or higher with f-stop. And there are also general environments like um, areas with well-lighted places or not. And yeah, you have to keep that in mind. Tip number one, well-lighted locations. As you can see in the first example, you have to choose your locations based on well-lighted areas like street lights, neon lights or shop windows. Um, they can also be bus or tram stops or train and subway platforms if you have access to them. And if you really absolutely want to photograph people, uh, you can also choose the inside of the bus or tram and you don't have to go inside directly because lighting reflections from the windows and other lighting effects are really really welcome and you always get this really cool looking photos and you can easily stand on the platform and take photos from there it's really nice and you don't bother people with your camera Tip number two, check your settings. It's like we really often ignore or forget about the settings and they are really, really important. They are contribute to the quality of our photos and the capabilities of our, our gear. And there is a nice rule of a thumb. Um, for example, if you have 50 millimeters lens, then set the shutter speed to one over 50. If you have 35, set it to 140 that's the closest to 35 and so on so on so on this applies to smaller lenses so if you have a tele lens you will have to add a little bit more to the shutter speed tip number three use a tripod a tripod is not an, an embarrassment in the city i've heard it so many times jesus <laughs> A tripod is a tool for taking better photos and also other types of photos like for example long exposures. So if you have access to tripod don't hesitate to start using it. If you don't have access to tripod there are plenty of them and the costs are not as high as it was before because we have so many different brands. Uh, but you can also use uh, the city environment and put your camera on a bench or any other element that is flat that could fit your camera. Okay guys, this is it. Thank you for watching and I hope these three simple tips for beginners were helpful for you. You can leave a comment if you'd like to see more videos like this one and I will prepare some other tips, some other things, thoughts around different um, photography areas. Recently I released my preset pack so if you are interested in creating bangers just visit my website at eastbanger.com and start creating them now. Thanks guys, see ya in the next one.